Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have the distinct pleasure to be um, interviewing um, none other than Jan Leishtung. She is an artist that um, has some amazing work, and her and I um, have become acquainted because of similar interests and um, things like photography and photos and art. And um, I want to introduce you to her and get some intake as to uh, how she got started as a, an artist and um, let her explain to you her inspirations and um, how she got started. So if you can. I was a young girl visiting an aunt and uncle with my parents. And while they were talking, they gave me a piece of paper and a pencil. And I had nothing to do, so I started sketching. And they looked at it when they were through, when they were through talking. And they said, you know, that's not bad. You're only six or seven years old. Wow. Maybe you should get some lessons. Amazing. And I didn't really take lessons then. I, I was a pianist also. I played the piano for 13 years. Wow. I had classical backgrounds. And then I took jazz. And I took seven years of that, that. And then I met a woman who had a little place, very small, called the Sketch Box. And maybe six women who wanted one or two paintings to go on the walls of their home started coming. They did their, they did a couple of their paintings and left. They had no desire to ever come back. But I continued. And I worked with this lady for quite a few years and she taught me everything that there was to know, that I could get from her. I said to her one day, you know, Adele, if for any reason you start, you stop doing this, I'm never going to paint again. And she looked me right in the eye and she said, oh yes you are. She said, I can see that you are a very good artist and you will continue. Let's, let's, let's back up a bit. Where, where were you born and raised and where was when you first started painting? I was born in Jamaica, Queens, New York. My grandfather had a, sh a shoe store, a, a repair store in Jamaica. And so I was always around that neighborhood. And eventually, I guess one thing leads to another, I started to paint a little bit more. Did you have any inspirations? Like, did you, at the time, were there any, like, artists or anything that stood out that, you know, where you gained the interest of painting? How, you know, or was, it, was it your grandparents that you said that gave you a, uh, a, a little thing where you can sketch and stuff like that? Yeah, they just gave, it wasn't my grandparents, it was my aunt and uncle and my parents who were visiting them. Uh -huh. And they just gave me something while they were talking to keep me busy. So I started sketching and I saw something, a bookshelf, and I started sketching the books or the, what was behind it. And I never paid much attention. And eventually, I did start taking some lessons. 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 And so uh, you learned how to, you know, um, work with colors. Uh, uh, was it acrylic? Was it uh, actual paint? You know, when you took your lessons, um, was it was it something that, uh, um, how would I say it, um, was it what you, you're painting now, or was it just... No, I started out very slowly. I think the first painting I ever did was of a bridge, because I looked out the window and I saw this bridge, so I started sketching that and thought nothing of ever becoming an artist. No, I just, I have, I've stuck with it. And it was very easy to give it up. 
Right. And you had mentioned something to me that um, part of um, your inspiration also was that you were very passionate about like photography and you know um, you would I think if I'm not mistaken through your pictures you would see a certain image and then you would put it on canvas is is that is that right sometimes yes I also uh, you know, a while later there was a Without revealing your age, what years are we talking about? When you were like, let's say, now that you 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 know went and you took some classes to where you felt that your I art. I didn't have any faith in myself as far as being, ever being a known artist. Really, that's Never. that's pretty interesting. No, I I it just I don't know one thing led to another, and I guess. My parents were very quiet people. My dad was a liquor salesman. And uh, they had no inkling that I would ever possibly begin to paint. It just happened years later. And I stayed with it. And but it would have been very easy to give it up. And as the years go by, like, you know, your, your paintings became more. Um, Intricate, you know. Or I did a lot of flowers. A lot of flowers. I and, love flowers. And let's let's talk about that more. You have a painting right behind you. That's one of your. Is it one of your last pieces that, that you've done? But it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I mean the colors are just vibrant and they stick out. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And that's one of many paintings. And this is where you come and it's, it's I see that you, you, you've done some stuff over here. You know, this is where you got some of your paint stuff. And um, I see there's this a purse. Workshop. There's yeah. your workshop and you have a purse over there. Can you explain to me um, that purse right there? Well, for this was later on in my life. This was not too long ago where I was sitting in front of my friend's garage. And this bag was in her garage and she didn't even know it was there. And it was a plain taupe color. And she handed it to me. I said, what do you want me to do with it? She said, I don't care what you do with it. I don't want it. So I went home. And first I, I started painting, which I, I, I can never paint the same thing twice. There's no way that I could ever do it again. Right. But I did this half first. And then I turned it around and I did this half. Which I realized later was too much work. I should have only have done one side. But it's absolutely gorgeous, actually. You know, it's a really nice piece and um, it's definitely authentic. And um, one of a kind. One of a kind, absolutely, absolutely. And I think it's gorgeous, and it, it, it's a definite, uh, you know, showcases exactly your skills as an artist and where you your colors. You have a thing where I, I've noticed in a lot of your paintings where the color actually pops. I don't know if you guys can see the I'm a colorist. Yeah, and, and see the photograph. Um, over here, let me see if I can superimpose a little bit, but that, that photograph right behind you is absolutely wonderful. And um, I think that, uh, you know, maybe we should take a look at some more of your work that you have inside, and we can share with everybody. Um, all right, well, let's, let's, let's just keep going. Being that I really am not doing abstracts for very long, I started this painting, but I couldn't finish it. I kept sitting on my bed. I had it on the wall. I could not figure out what to do to consider it finished. One day, I finally went, I took the painting, put it on the floor, on my terrace, and started pouring paint. You can see where the circles and the lines where, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I wasn't, 
I was not sure it would ever work, but I got to the point where I like it, and I think it's, I think it's a really good painting. <laughs> I don't know how you'll feel about it, but I finally got to where I wanted to go with this painting. Well, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Once again, um, the colors are extremely amazing. Um, they pop out, and um, it's just, it's a wonderful piece. Um, I, you move to the sides? Yeah, I could just see exactly where you got in your inspiration, and the colors are very vibrant, and I think you did a wonderful job on that piece, as well as the others. Um, and once again, I thank you so much for sharing um, this stuff. I also want to talk about um, the latest stuff that you've been doing, but I also want you to show me. So, you know, um, let's let's uh, show everybody what you're talking about and the latest stuff that you've been doing. Um, and let's share it with everyone. This painting was part of what you call a diptych, which means two. There's, there was one, one was worked and then the next one was worked. And, should I bring it in? This is the other half of what you saw before and it's called what? A diptych. Which means? Two. It's one, it's, the painting has two parts. Excellent. I never know what I'm going to do. I used to, when I first started painting, I always looked at a photograph. I never had the imagination to work without looking at a picture. So for many years, I was really only working from pictures. Right. That I liked. Right. Pretty interesting. Now, I did the one that you saw before, and this is the second part. Okay. So, Jan, here we are again with some of your photos. And uh, why don't you explain to everybody um, where these photographs um, actually got their inspiration or where you got your inspiration to do these photographs. I mean, rather, paintings, excuse me. We were in Italy one year, and I came back with some photographs of the hotel that I was in. And I came back and I painted what I photographed. Two paintings are some of my, the one on the left, the right side from here, or the left side from you, was something that I did quite a few years ago. But this painting gave me a big problem because rocks are very hard to do. And water is also not easy. But I stuck with it. I didn't think it would ever come to this. I very rarely give up on a painting. I usually stay with it. And that's probably why I ended up being an artist, because I didn't give up. That's amazing. And how long a piece like this would take you to do? It, it would I vary? Never really, I never really timed it. So you like go back to the painting and... You no, know, I, I go back and I finish. I you don't finish start it. another one. Oh, you don't start another one until you finish no, one? No, it's not. I don't do that. Right, okay. I right. finish, I finish the, the painting that I'm working on at the time, and I stick with it until I give up. Yeah. Well, now, those are photographs on canvas. I'll turn over in a minute. On canvas. Um... Were they inspirations of yours? Like, you know, well, you... I remember I was, I was in a restaurant one night and I saw lily, <coughs> lilies. And being that I love flowers so much, I happened to have had my camera with me and I photographed the lilies. The red flowers below it was in a garden. Mm. In, on, it was in, Long Island, New York, in a place called Old Westbury Gardens. And I would go there with my camera and I would, if I played tennis, I would leave the court and then I would go over to Old Westbury and start shooting what came to my eye because I love photography. 
We never know where a painting comes from. And those are all the works that I did earlier. But a few years ago, I started doing these abstracts, not knowing where they came from. There's one. There's another one there. And they could probably make somebody dizzy. And I don't, as I said, I don't know where they came from, but I started doing them. And at this point, I've, I've sort of stopped because um, during the pandemic, I've been painting old bags. Okay, and we'll take a look at those bags. Um, so during the pandemic, you were inspired to do other stuff like paint mm -hmm. old bags and stuff like this. And uh, these, these are, you know, some of the works that she's done. And, um, you know, it's pretty interesting. Um, it's pretty interesting that you had mentioned to me that you at some point, um, there's some of your art work that's actually been donated and you have some artwork that's actually being viewed by probably hundreds of thousands of people. Where at? Sloan Kettering Hospital in New York. So you have some paintings that you actually did at Sloan Kettering Hospital in New York. I donated them. I didn't. I didn't do them there. I, I donated them, and they gave me a whole wall, which was very exciting. That is to see my work where other people would be seeing it. Right, and that that's amazing. And you know, the the, the amazing part is is that people might walk by these pieces on a daily basis. I mean, there's a bunch of people that go, Sloan Kettering is like, if not the number one hospital for cancer research. And, okay. you know, it's an amazing place. Um, and for your work to be sitting there and, you know, people actually viewing it on a daily basis. And I have the honor to interview you in person is phenomenal. You know, it's, it's just amazing. And I was just telling you about, you know, a photographer who was, um, you know, it's kind of ironic, but it was, you know, she was discovered after her passing. And, and the thing is, is that, you know, she had s some amazing work. She was actually a nanny in New York City. And by the end of this video, I'm going to get her name. But she was a nanny in New York City. And, um, it, you know, she, to me, she was an inspiration because, you know, she, she did uh, photography, and she walked around with a camera. She had a passion for it, but she, you know, on her day-to-day -day life, she was a nanny, and it was kind of crazy that uh, she was discovered after her passing because she had this, like, treasure chest that was full of her, um, her you know, photography and all of her work, and which she never shared with anybody, um, and... It just so happened that I mean her artwork was just amazing. Um, she had uh, she had the ability to you know use the rule of thirds and this is black and white in like 1950s and New York City, which was amazing. She had the ability of capturing people in a certain light, and um, it was just amazing. And it, you know you're kind of like a reminder of that because you, I mean you have all this artwork and you know. Personally, although you've given stuff to Sloan Kettering, um, I'm in the Boca Hospital, and you're in the Boca Hospital, the women's hospital. There you go. So you know you have some pieces out there that are being seen by people, but these are some hidden gems that you have here, and I think you know you have a phenomenal talent, and you know it's definitely unique. Um, it's worth you know seeing in person. Definitely. And, um, I mean, I thank you for sharing, you know, this work with me because, um, it, it's, it's, it's definitely intriguing and I can see where you got your inspiration from and I can actually appreciate all of your, 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 you know, your work, your, your pieces. I mean, the colors are very vibrant and they stand out a whole lot. I was just talking about this one, if I can just pan in over here this one particular piece right over there and that one piece I mean it's it's from a from a distance it looks like um, 
I can't even. Uh, it's a hotel it looks. In Italy. It's it's a hotel in Italy, and it, 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 I mean it looks just amazing. It looks I like took a, a photograph. photograph when I was there. Yeah, it, it looks. That's exactly what it looks like. An enlarged photograph, but the, the the colors that you were able to bring out and the flowers and all that stuff is just simply amazing. Simply amazing, and I thank you for sharing. And I'm gonna we're gonna go around and I'm gonna show you some more of her work. Yeah, too much. keep busy doing something and I didn't really know what to do. So my daughter went online and we sent away for these old, these are old vintage bags and they were white. And I got them and these, uh, this is what I've done with the colors that I love and I wear. These are some of the bags that were white to begin with. And I'm happy with them. I, I'm glad that uh, I had something to do when everybody was in with this pandemic. So I am very grateful that my daughter sent, sent away and got me these bags that came in. They're vintage bags and they were white in color. And it wasn't always easy doing them, but like my paintings, I don't give up. <laughs> and I stay with things until I'm satisfied. Agreed. I noticed that, you know, they, they, you know, they have a resemblance, you know, the, the, the colors. And vibrant, some of them, um, but they're colors that, uh, you can actually see in some of your paintings, um, which is pretty neat, and I think it's definitely unique. Um, it's something that uh, um, it's something else that you did other than uh, work on canvas. Also, um, you just mentioned to me something about um, having some, you know, exhibits. You know, I think uh, you were mentioning that you had some exhibits. Um, here and in New York, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and I have, and I was, I've been in many exhibits. <clears throat> I was in a show that the, oh, my voice, I get, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I've been in major shows. I have that information somewhere with my resume, and I just collected and hope that maybe someday someone would come in and, and let me tell my story. And Richard, you are the best. And I am so happy, and my daughter is so happy, that you came over here today to interview me and, and go through my work. Well, um, you're absolutely welcome. and. Uh... I, I honestly have to thank you for opening up your home to me and um, allowing me to see these uh, works of art, you know, that you've done. And, you know, it's definitely an inspiration. Um, I thank you for sharing because, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, it, to me, I'm very intrigued. I have friends that were artists and I have an appreciation for art. Um, also, you know, being an amateur photographer myself, um, I, I can see the beauty in things, you know, and um, to be quite honest, uh, you know, when, when you and I spoke about possibly doing this, I thought it was, you know, it was a privilege for me to do it because um, seeing your work and you sharing your work with me, um, was amazing and 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 I, I thank you for that and now the ability for me to capture this and and put it on um, and record it and and you know where we can actually save some of this work and share it with the world because I mean I think people should should see the stuff and I mean personally and please don't kill me but um, you have such a talent 
and I see it, and I honestly see it. And I think, you know, um, that you still have work in you, you know? And, you know, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's something that, that ought to be shared with the world, you know what I mean? It's such a beautiful thing um, and a beautiful talent that you have, and I think it ought to be shared. And I hope that maybe um, you will get back to your uh, painting and canvas and share more of your work with us. Um, also, you know, I'm going to, uh, for those of you that may want to get in contact um, with Jan, um, I'm going to put a link and I'm also going to put her uh, email where she can be contacted. If any of you are interested in any of her work, um, you know, you can actually reach out to her or I'll put my contact as well. And, um, you know, maybe you can reach out to either one of us and um, um, get to see some of her work in person or, you know, maybe we can have an exhibit if you have a gallery. I think this is, you know, it's wonderful. I think she's got some beautiful pieces and um, she continues to do uh, what she does best and, you know, is put her work on other canvases and now purses. And I believe, am I not mistaken, you did some masks. You, you actually painted some masks. Uh -huh. So, you know, that is pretty, pretty, you know, now with this pandemic, I mean, things have been kind of bizarre and um, we're forced to wear these masks and um, practice. Should I put one on? Mm -hmm. Well, you can if you like. I'll show. I'll. I'll, I'll you, you can get it later, and I'll, I'll. I'll show people. But you know, I think you know now with this pandemic. I mean, we're forced to you know practice social distancing and do all this stuff, and we have to wear a mask. And of course, not everybody, um, or rather, not every mask coordinates with what we're wearing and stuff like that. And I think uh, you did some 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 mask, and they're pretty neat. And I I, I would say pastel colors. No? Is it not pastel colors? Same one. Yeah, yeah. That I painted. With this pandemic, everybody's wearing masks, but nobody's wearing the ones that I painted, so I would be more than happy to make them up if anybody wants them. And I like them and I like and I like where these colors are really not the colors of my paintings. But they are I I like the colors. Okay, Jan, I want to thank you so much for allowing me to um, come here and document this and so that people can see uh, your artwork and the work that you have done throughout the years. I think it's phenomenal and I thank you so much for welcoming, welcoming me to your humble home and uh, sharing your work of art with me. Richard, I want to thank you so much for coming over. And uh, I love, I'm, I can't wait to see the end result. And I hope that I inspire maybe some young people to start painting for themselves. And maybe I could, <clears throat> could help, help them get started in a way that might be good. Well, you know, it's great because um, at the end of this video, um, I am going to share um, a link where you can be contacted. And um, perhaps, you know, anybody out there that's watching that sees some inspiration, um, you know, and would like to either, you know, exhibit some of your work, learn how to paint, or something like this, you know, maybe you can have some insight and give them some insight, or maybe you can have your work actually exhibited at an art gallery, you know, in a future, you know, event or something like this. And I'm going to share your contact so that everybody can get a hold of you. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and it was a wonderful uh, being able to document this. And I thank you, thank you, and thank you. And...
to you too. You're wonderful and you've done such a great job. I love it.